Today's video might be the most definitive in the sense that there is an enormous cover-up of a discovery in Antarctica that crosses national boundaries and might be the biggest story in history. I've shown things in the past that were, of course, very clearly hand of man. Things that were hand of something else and things that were, of course, just nature for contrast. In this video, we're going to show not only hand of man, but we're going to show it in direct proximity to things that couldn't possibly be. And we're also going to show the efforts that have been made to hide this. They've done a pretty good job of it, but they have left some small breadcrumbs behind to show that there's something here they don't want you to see. And it's not small. It's enormous. Now, real quick, just to say that I addressed it, I've gone here to this research stations in Antarctica, and there's been all these people saying, oh, it's this station, that station, whatever. You know, what a better cover. What possible cover could there be about this? Like, yeah, we're going to go down there and study uh, the effect on neutrinos on the price of pizza in Philadelphia or some ridiculous story, and you'll buy it. And I've gone down here, and there's a lot of these stations, and I've gone through here with all the coordinates. And there is one that is very close to this, to where we're going to be looking at today, but it's labeled as closed. It's called a SUCA, and it says closed, unmanned activity since 1985. And it's uh, 71 degrees, 31 minutes, 33 seconds south, 24 degrees, 6 minutes, 41 seconds east. Now that's going to be close to where we're at, but not exactly where we're at. So, without any further ado, let's get to it. Now, once again, I'll say it again for everybody who's watching. I'm sorry about the screen, Moyer. It's just this thing with the Google AI. There's a way to beat it, and I'm not going to muck with the way that I'm doing videos right now, because people are watching. So, where to start? Okay, I think we'll start here on the... Uh, left hand side. Now one of the things that we're going to see in this one is that there's of course the the general view here and then of course as we zoom in we're going to see things uncover but when they uncover there's different levels even here that make you think that you're seeing the full detailed image but you're really not and I'm going to uncover that here in a minute. Now the first place we'll stop and I'll know I was like oh this is just a mountain ridge. Well Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. This is not definitive, of course. But, you know, we'll go and look through this. But this, we've seen evidence of animals before, and large ones. Um, I'll give you guys a real quick, uh, let's see, what do I have this in feet? Why isn't it working? Oh, there we go. All right, um, about 580 feet long. So fairly substantial. We'll clear that out. Now, here's the part here that I want to show that makes no sense to me at all. Now, clearly what we have here is a human facility. It's not hard to see that this is hand of man as we zoom in. So we have what looks like either basically buildings, some kind of a, of a station, which, you know, totally fine. You know, Antarctica has had people on it for quite some time. But let me ask you a question. And then out here we have this, uh, I don't know, it looks like they've dug in. There's a hole here. Right here, they have this giant outcropping of rock. If this is truly just that, why wouldn't they have just placed their buildings and stuff here in the leeward side? If Think about this. If you were out here in this windswept, frozen tundra, and you were going to set up a station, why wouldn't you find the place that's out of the wind when it's so close to where you are anyway? Why would you set up way the heck out here? And you can see the shadow here of the, the, the peak. 
Now, my allegation is this, is that what we're looking at here isn't just a mountain. That there is, that is an opening that goes somewhere. And that's why they've set up over here. So as not to interfere with what goes in and out. Because if it's some kind of a of telescope or array or detector system, this tiny bit of difference isn't going to matter. And you would, even if this, these were the instruments out here, you would clearly see some type of evidence over here. This makes no sense, other than the way I explained it. And oddly enough, not very far away, now, this doesn't uncover in high definition, but look. Exact same shape. Almost identical. And you can see that this is clearly not something that is just a rock. All right. Now, on a little bit more of a opinion-based note here, as we zoom in, Let's see if I can get this to uncover properly. Here it is. You have this large rock, but over here to the side, this is the part that's creepy as hell. What looks like to me another opening right here and the skeleton of a giant serpent under the ice. We'll do a measurement. Thousand feet to the end of these rocks here. What we can actually really see about right here, 1100 feet. I'll clear that out so you can look at it a little better. Get a little bit more of a zoom. This is also why I do this with the camera, too, is that I can take advantage of not only the scroll zoom, but also the zoom on the camera. This definitely looks like the head and the spine of a giant serpent. And I don't know, I mean, this looks like this could be just windblown snow, but wings? Ribs? And then, of course, look, a giant portal. Very, very odd. I mean, this just doesn't look like it, it's natural for this being some kind of a line of rock, the way the, the snow is. This clearly, what we're, I think what we're looking at here is just the effect of ships in and out of these portals on the ice below it. Whatever they're using for thrust is affecting this over time. And it's uncovered something. So we'll leave that there. Now, as promised before, hand of man near. Hand of other. I guess for lack of a better term, I have found that they have run cables. I don't know whether they're power cables. I don't know if they're information cables, but there are giant swaths of cables that are run through these mountains. And I've put down cable markers to where they end. Now this piece here is just speculation where it says cable eight because when I was running the cable, I know it's hard to see. Well, you can see that even through the wire. Clearly. And like I said, this ends right here. This is where the high def just goes away for some reason. But if you follow this cable, I've marked it out. It goes right through the mountains, and here, there's actually, and you can see it, 
some kind of a housing or something to hold the cable or repeater station, uh, something. Not natural, right here. Right on the line of that cable. And you can trace this right through. That's uh, marker 6, marker 5. that they've run all the way through here. Here's where it enters this part. And here's where it gets very strange. After this point, it becomes two cables. There becomes a primary cable and a secondary cable. They run about 1,700 feet apart. There's one... I'm going to zoom this out. That's the only way I can show it. There's a primary cable here in the lower left of the screen. And then out here, it's faint. It's very faint. But do you see the line? This is that primary cable that we were tracking before. It goes under the snow here. And both of these cables, and I know the Moyer just absolutely kills this. And like I said, I'm sorry about it, but one of the first things that AI looks for is screen recording software. And besides that, every time I've tried to use it, either the audio was wrong or the video was wrong or I've tried three times to use it, actually, and it uh, doesn't ever seem to take. All right, there we go. We'll track the secondary, because it's clear and it's distinct. And when you get down here, As you can see here, I'll show you this other one real quick. It's still there. See it up here? It's extremely faint because it's getting covered. For some reason, the other one isn't. So as you get it down here to where the... Uh, it starts to meet something that they're covering up. Now here's both cables, okay, right next to each other. One here and one here. Now look at this. They were sloppy. These cables end here. And this isn't the only corner that they've messed up on. Look over here. Here's another one. And like I said, if it's just a research station, why go to this trouble to hide it? There's a third cable up here, but it's so faint, I don't think I can get it to uh, come up. But these hidden corners are everywhere. They just missed on a couple. They didn't think anybody was going to be out here looking, and you need to be at an incredibly close zoom level to see this. See here? Look. They're attempting to hide something. And you can go all along this edge. And you can find places where they just they just missed. 
They thought they covered it up, and from altitude it looks covered. You have to be at very, very... There's a piece that I actually didn't mark. Look. See this whole section here? This is clearly a structure they are trying to hide. And it's got cable run to it. You have to zoom. This one gets buried really bad. But it's there. This is why I'm kicking myself for not getting the 4K screen. I almost got a computer with a 4K, but I wasn't ready to spend that kind of money. And it's all over down here. That's like eight of them, I think. And with the cable markers and all that. Now, I want to show you guys something else. When you get out here in this area, there are these little things that look like they're rocks, but they're not rocks. And you've got to zoom way, way in to see these. They aren't natural. These are real blurry. That's why I started with them. But some of these are not. Well, we'll go right to the one that, uh... This looks like two submarines surfaced right next to each other. And I've already pre-measured these. These are 400 feet long. Look at this. These look like submarines with conning towers. The longer one here, from here to here, is 400 feet. So, you know, we can extrapolate what we're looking at. And this is how, and this is what it looks like just at a normal altitude. The strange thing about um, these cables is they all run to this structure here under the ice and it looks like, honest to God, there's a facility down there. Or they found the remains of something enormous. It almost looks like a giant hand, like we have a thumb, and one, two, three, it's very, very strange. Because there's nothing here, but you can find structure all around it. So whatever this is, it's right here. And like I said, these hidden corners are everywhere. So we're pushing 20 minutes. For the submarines, I'll go ahead and give you this uh, verbally. I'll try to get these down in the locations, but there's 20 of them, so at least. This location here for the submarines is 73 degrees, 36 minutes, 37.15 seconds south, 25 degrees, 23 minutes, 16.1, let me say this again. 25 degrees, 23 minutes, 16.91 seconds east. And that should put you smack dab in the middle of this field of things. And this little range here is not hard to find. And when you zoom, but once again, Google Earth Pro, December 2012. Any other date, I can't guarantee it's going to cover or uncover. But it's all here. I mean, there's dozens of, uh, probably at least a dozen of those edges, hidden building edges everywhere. And if you follow those cables, they're all over the place. And I don't know what these cables are, but I've, I've marked them all out. They run in perfect straight lines. It looks like these things were laid from the air. I, I, I've never seen cables run like this. 
perfectly straight. And there's not just one, there's three out here to find. I'll see if I can show you a section of this tertiary cable reference. It is just very, very hard to get to show up. See this straight line here? If you follow it, it gets more distinct in other spots. Yeah, it's just very, very hard to get to show up. But trust me, it is out there. And once you find it, it's unmistakable. So we'll leave it there. 20 minutes. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. And we will see you next time.